Hello, my name is Eli Lacovius Leslie. I am your host. Feeling scared? Uneasy? Perturbed? Don't. Everything will be fine. From here on out, you can just let it go. Unwind and take a break from life. Stop twiddling on the infinite void box that is your phone and take 10 minutes to do absolutely nothing at all. Nothingness is better than fretting. Listen to the sound of my voice. Only my voice. Sit back, relax, and watch the madness seep from out of your body and your mind. Don't worry, we promise that it's being collected and put to good use. We can't afford to waste any of that delicious insanity, can we? Today's local news in the arbitrary is new. Who knew the new news before the news was new? Hopefully, nobody knew. Except, of course, the unfortunate predictor. In fact, that is our story. The predictor's third eye, located directly in the center of the temple, bled profusely until there was nothing left behind. There are various indications of mistreatment of the third eye. It appeared to have been forcefully opened. The poor, sad, deceased predictor's body was found near Atwood Memorial Center. Public safety has requested that we deliver clear instructions as to how one should open the third eye, should any newcomers to the practice of foresight wish to partake upon the journey. Anxiety dwells in the future, of course. Foresight allows one to let go. Why fear the future, if you know it? Opening the third eye to that sort of foresight can be quite painful, if done poorly. Use caution. The pliers should be kept clean. Make sure that they are sharp and thin. Feel with your soul where the third eye is and its shape. Though the location may be fairly similar in every case of third eye opening, the shape and size of the third eye varies from person to person. Take care to see that the pliers are closed tightly when you insert them into the center of your cranium. Once the pliers have been firmly placed, pull them open. Your third eye will most likely resist against your skin. Proceed gently and do not panic. That is normal. This is very normal. Everything about this process is normal. Continue slowly, and you will realize that, in fact, nothing isn't normal. The greatest worries that you've ever felt over unanswered questions, the deepest mysteries this universe has to hide, should appear as normality. Greet normality with a smile. Lock eye contact with it and shake its hand. Normality will assure you, in a voice calm and soothing, that this is exceedingly normal. Look around. What do you see? If the answer is red, then you have done it wrong, and we're dreadfully sorry for your family. We're sorry for your friends. We're so sorry. We're sorry that all you see is the color red. If you look around and you see tomorrow, when it is in fact today, then do not be confused. You are not living in yesterday. You are living in the present while seeing the future. The future exists. It is no longer an illusion claiming to be stagnate. It is reality and you live there now. Be happy. We congratulate you for making another tomorrow possible. Today may always seem like it already happened, of course, but again, we can promise you that this is normal. You are normal, 
and you are a winner. And now, the weather. Today's weather is turquoise, with a chance of violet. Please take note that you must not call Violet by Indigo. That is her sister. Indigo and Violet fuss often over who is the prettier shade. If you mistake one for the other, then you are insulting one and letting the other win, thus supporting their conflict. Such things should not persist. Violence is unnecessary, after all. Furthermore, Violet would like to address the pronunciation of her name. It is pronounced Violet. vi o -let. She wanted to make it very clear that she was almost fed up with the pronunciations, and would not stand it very much longer. Violence, Violet. Violence, please. Relax and allow that energy to seep into our collection. Turquoise, however, is much more peaceful. He is an easygoing gentleman to deal with. However, do not mention his cousin Autumn. Autumn makes Turquoise feel uncomfortable. They had an unfortunate disagreement over the sudden and spontaneous death of a friend, a careless young chap who forcefully opened their third eye. They are no longer on speaking terms. You can expect clear turquoise. The temperature is also turquoise. He is actually quite proud of that. Please, pay turquoise your respects. He would be grateful to receive the recognition, and wouldn't we all? Turquoise would also like to announce that he is now a breathable substance. Now take in a deep breath. Think of peace. Think of something that calms you. Think of turquoise. Now exhale. There, that's right, let it all go. That's right. We are so proud of you. Thank you. You've done an amazing job. When next you feel tension, please, donate it to the arbitrary. We thank you for your contributions. That's it for today's weather. Now, on behalf of the radio station, we have some very powerful sentimentalities to contain and harvest in the lab. Thank you for tuning in. This was The Arbitrary. I am Eli Lacobius Leslie, your host, and remember to just let it go. Please, come again.